Welcome back everyone to Unity of Command 2, episode number 6 of our Normandy Breakout campaign. Um, this started off as an overview tutorial, but now at this point we're just diving really into it. And I find I'm I'm really getting engaged by this game. I, I'm liking it more and more and more the more I play it. I think it's also because of the way this scenario is set up. If you recall, I'm sure you do, we were really stuffed in here. We were barely crammed into this tiny little area. And that was how things started, and it was a lot of the puzzle mechanic where you have to move one unit back in order to move another unit forward in order to get to attack. A lot of balancing back and forth, trying to figure out the exact best flow so that this unit can move here, so that that unit can move up to the front after, uh, you know, and have that one bombard and then move out of the way. This one faints, then moves out of the way. That it's just not very engaging. Con um, that's not as engaging to me. That's not a good war game mechanic. That's more of a puzzle mechanic. As I said, it's like. Solitaire, you know, Tetris, who knows. But now that the things are getting spread out and we have, I feel like the decisions we're making are much more interesting. With this spread out field and the, the wide hexes, to me it's playing much more like a real board game, uh, like a real war game, I should say. Is this Bradley? No, Dempsey. Oh, he's he's the only one out of command, or out of supply range, um, uh, HQ range. But anyways, uh, the point was, at first, it's that puzzle mechanic, but now that we're spread out, we have, uh, it's not that we're replacing people, it's just that we have to figure out where to go. And that's not a puzzle mechanic, this is a legitimate mechanic. Um, the, basically, the stacking limits matter less the more spread out things get, but we're still making very crucial decisions about when to say, where to send our forces. Like we send some of these guys to the north, we send some of them to the south. This feels a lot more like Hearts of Iron 3, where you're making these interesting decisions about where to send your forces. Uh, where to put pressure, where to like send the concentration of forces. Now this unit just looks like if they're pretty much done for. We could just kill them and eliminate them outright. I think that this will do it. It will not, but that's actually still going to be enough for us for this unit to move forward. They're certainly not going to be needed there anymore. We can move anybody forward. We'll move this unit forward and finish them off here and that guy still has one more unit uh, one more movement I should say I think I will just move from there so we took all those prisoners not that those prisoners could have gone anywhere else um, it is pretty clear to me that we're gonna do this but let's start off by first actually using some of our HQ points and the reason why I want to do that is because at this point we're getting very limited on the number of well first of all not a lot of people are out of supply anymore um, we have two people out of HQ command here but we can actually only do our emergency supply for one person and we'll go ahead and do that we'll give them extra supply because they're gonna make a trip all the way down here I don't know where is best for these people to go we do have it is interesting to maybe think about going all the way over here and taking Orleans um, no, note that Orleans ha offers nothing for us <laughs> it is so it's a little weird to want to take it but I just like it because we're pushing the boundaries and I don't know, it's just, it's, it's kind of seems fun. So let's do it. <laughs> Crazy, maybe. So we can actually move all the way down here and take the city itself, which does disband and completely eliminate that headquarters. Now you may think, oh my gosh, we're going to be out of HQ range, but because, balls, I was going to say because we have this all um, attached it should be fine. It's not because we're going to need to actually drop. I think we drop one supply unit here or here and we should be fine. The problem is that the railroad is destroyed here. So we can, the best we can do is put a supply thing in this city, but it won't cut across. And unfortunately we have no option to repair this one. Cause I think it was just destroyed last turn. So anyways, we'll just, uh, Get the British HQ to move forward in a moment. So we have nobody who can recon. We we really have nothing else to do with our three points. Only thing we can do then is I think we're gonna just build a bridge, but let's let's see if there's anything we can do. Oh, okay. That's probably not a bad idea to give this. Oh, heck. Can we deploy deploy anymore? I don't think we can. So yeah, let's give this guy, I think that getting, getting this guy to the front does seem like it could be useful. 
Yeah, so you can get all the way over here. I think that's fine, because we do want to move our HQ pretty far forward as well. We'll do this. We'll look for our other individual who's over here. Preferably keep them on the... I do prefer to keep them. So this is the um, Canadian. This guy did get, uh, get left out of supply, but we'll go ahead and use one of our emergency supplies on him. Now he's able to attack. We probably won't attack directly. Um... I may even push this guy forward. Oh, okay. Well, we obviously want to do this. And now we can take the supply dump. We can first move this guy forward here. Have this guy move in. We want other anybody who's lacking supply or who wants to get covered by this supply. <laughs> yeah. What does this supply look like now? Okay, well, it, it's fine actually for this guy to go all the way over here. Oh, uh, he's out of undo. Why does it say? Oh, is this, this is a British? He's a British, okay. So you're going the wrong way entirely. <laughs> we'll move him a different direction then. Well, this guy's gonna, gonna move forward then. Yeah, so I don't think it's any, there's no real strong, you know, good reason why we need to move these guys forward. Actually, you know what's funny is there's nobody else who can benefit from being, from me taking this anyway. So I think we'll just do this. There is a unit in Dieppe. Interesting. To me, the more interesting thing is to actually take the HQ. Um, okay, let's, I'm going to move him off because we want to take those prisoners. So interesting to me that we can, yeah, these are going to move us into the zone of control so we can't do any other movement after that, but it might be interesting to, to cross the bridge if anybody else can get close, but you know what? I think we're not going to be able to do that. This is a one-on-one. -on -one. It will be good to get him on the... So we, I think we can move this guy over here, which we may want to. He's actually in supply there, so we'll leave him there for this turn. And these guys, unfortunately, are out of supply, but we'll figure out a way to make that work. Probably by setting a supply either here. I think if we set it here, what's the train like? Yeah, it's just clear. So one, two, three. It's going to be very easy to put these guys back in supply. Okay. So, British, you can't do anything else. We'll have you move. Where do we want you to move to? It's interesting. We can either move here directly, which is probably the best choice. I think we, I think um, HQ can still trickle its command around this bridge, but it's going to take a while for that bridge to be fixed, so maybe not. Is there, I mean, where else are we trying to move? I guess, I guess this is the best place. Okay, we're back in supply with everyone. Certainly are going to want to defend that point, but we do have some Canadians. We might need to borrow your Canadian forces so that we can get to cover our, you know, headquarters, which is pretty important. Um, the Bradley forces, these guys are going to move west in the end as fast as they can, <laughs> which is still not that fast, but... Um, let's take a look at what this guy covers. Okay, so he's going to probably be able to cover all of this. The only problem is that we might end up getting out of supply, but I kind of like pushing our boundaries, or pushing our borders. And if we get back to Le Mans, we're okay. So this should be fine as well. I actually don't know if that's fine. It is. So we can get over here, and that would be okay. We'll just move here. Um, and these are the, basically Bradley's all the infantry. We'll move these guys. Well, let's not, not risk everybody getting caught out of supply. Alright, so the middle area has been mostly moved. We have some Canadians. Oh, interesting. So these guys took their position. We can probably give these guys a, a lift on the motor pool. Can they repair this? Oh, they can. 
I think you have to start in command range of this. So we'll, de well, that's extremely important to repair. This poor group, but it won't be ready until next turn. So we still have three left. There's nobody, nobody to do that. That's good news. In fact, really nobody to do anything. <laughs> so we can motor pool somebody, I guess. Oh, interesting. Well, let's motor pull the people in the very far back because they want to get into the fray and they want their, their chance to shine. Oh, wow, yeah, that's, that's quite good. So let me just tab, make sure, okay, well, yeah, we can go anywhere we want with these guys. It was fun to take their HQ. So this guy's probably gonna be cut off, I don't... Oh, he's not because he's along the the actual supply run. Yep, yeah, okay, so these guys are all gonna be cut off thanks to the efforts of my forward attack. And if we go there, we can make sure that these guys are completely cut off indefinitely. In fact, this, um, if we go to terrain, this is, this is a light river, so I, I don't know if HQs can cross rivers the same way troops can, but it definitely would take a lot of his movement to do so. He'd be stuck out in the open anyway. So we're gonna move this armor right here. I don't know if about crossing. Can I give you, no, we don't have any other. Yeah, so I don't wanna move across just because then I can be cut off. In fact, I may, I may want to actually move here. Um, the reason I would do this is just to make sure that he cannot move anywhere. He should only be able to move one square. So if he moves into my zone of control, he can't leave it. But he'll be able to do this and this. Okay, that's actually fine. We're okay. I don't think if he moves here, if he moves here, here, he can only move from here, and then I can't he can't move through my zone of control to get to that, I think. I'm pretty sure. Let's get everyone else moving forward, which requires this guy to move forward. Four zero. That's not good. But you have some artillery. Next turn, you will be able to bombard. I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's get this guy who has the... This guy should be able to bombard. Uh, well, we don't have the option, but I'm going to move him here. So I'm not going to use him up into the north, after all. You are four zero as well. So I'm actually going to move this guy up just so we can start taking territory across the river. It's already done, but <laughs> let's just take as much territory as we can. Oh, I can undo that. Not really sure what the best move here is. I don't know if I'll get that for free or if I really care. I, I'm a paint the map kind of guy. <laughs> I like to just get the map entirely my color. So this guy's Canadian. He can move up here. We're actually out of supply. So we gotta make sure people are not out of supply. Somebody's out of supply here. You know what, that's that's completely natural. Of course we're out of supply. We need to actually drop a supply depot somewhere over here. I think right here should do it. Um, and then we can actually probably kill that other one. So if we do this and we do one boost, yeah, we're getting almost everything. We can do three. We probably can't do three because I'm gonna need to cover, uh, I'm gonna need to cover the west as well. <laughs> so let's let's move over to the west. How are we doing here? Okay, so we have an attack which we can do two with. We have these bombers. I'm not sure what we're gonna use with those bombers. In fact, Bradley only has, uh, sorry, yeah, Bradley doesn't have any opportunities to do anything with his points, basically. So we're just gonna give people a lot of motorized stuff. We'll give this guy motorized, and he can travel a little bit further. Make sure that that's all. Can't actually get him back to the road, but we can do this. Let's get this guy to be motorized as well. That would probably get him cut off, unfortunately, unless one of these guys moves to save him, which, I think we can do. Oh, okay, he, he's not cut off now. Good, so he's back. 
This guy can probably also take motorized, the motor pool. Can't deploy any units anyway, so, oh, wait. Transferable, oh, those are transferable though. I don't think we need to transfer anything. Give this guy a motor pool, just move him further along, I guess. And you, last of my stuff, just also move along the motor pool further to the west. Okay, that seems fine to me. Then we have uh, Patton's forces, which he's probably going to go out of range, <laughs> as Patton's like to do. So we know there's a guy here, but there's nobody in Nantes. But it's probably more important for us to take Saint the victory points, right? Plus, we may need to move Bradley forward doing this. Oh yeah, that's that's trouble. You are slightly out of range, so we'll have you camp there. Gonna have this unit move to the north, because this is a patent unit. We have two turns left to take these, so we can begin our bombardment. Look at that, that was phenomenal. Keep moving. Yep, still in range, and Patton's probably gonna move forward as well. Um, what do we have? Patton's infantry. Probably have some more Patton. Oh, wow. This guy's a bit low on everything. <laughs> we'll plow him forward eventually. More Patton infantry. Okay. Well, I think the bombers... I mean, look at There's pretty much nothing to use our bombers on. What is this? Interesting. What does this mean? I don't know what this means. I, I might use one on this guy. Okay, that seemed effective. I can actually get this guy back to an area where he will for sure be in supply. I think that's actually worth doing, despite the fact that they very easily probably can cut off these guys. Um, Yeah, so if he leaves Paris Suburbs, though, we just take it and it's game over anyway. <laughs> so that's fine. We've done it, though. I mean, look at our score is doing fantastic. 286. What was it? 350 for a complete victory. We're well on our way there. Let's get the infantry to follow up as quickly as possible. I could have moved him down here to Nantes, but as I said, I don't... There's not a strongly compelling reason to do that. Kind of almost unfortunately, because I, I would love to. <laughs> I would love to have an excuse to go paint the map my color. Yeah, so the next bomber has got to be this guy. But first, emergency supply, the only guy that Patton can. No, oh, wow. Here's my Bradley infantry, but I actually want this. So, oh, nope, there's one other person he can, although let's save it, because this guy's actually full of... Um, he's he's full of it. But no, he's full on the, the action stuff. So this guy's fully reinforced now. Hmm. Yeah, he's going to do a lot of damage. This guy can overrun the HQ if it's not protected. So we'll send this guy... Or maybe this guy. Yeah, we'll send this guy this way. Alright, so you're just going to over... Ooh. He actually retreated. Are you out? No, you... but... I imagine supply is going to be a little bit difficult. We're going to be dealing with some supplies. So we have five trucks. We can go three on one side and two on the other. Now, if these guys stay on the road, they're actually covered by this two all already. And that is, in my opinion, very important. So we'll build another supply depot based on how far we get up here. Probably in this town. Mm, yeah, because we only have one guy down here. Yeah, so it will, in order to cover this forward advance, I'm a little bit surprised that this guy did not get like overrun or defeated or whatever. But it looks like us pushing him out here is not only going to make this guy, is, is going to make him out of um, supply range. So how do we want to handle this then? We still have one bomber. This guy's entrenched and everything. No, I don't think there's any point in bothering we may even want this guy, he doesn't have the moving points to even retreat, because <laughs> I think we might, we might have a problem here. 
They might even be able to attack us for pretty good effect. We only have a four on defense. What do they have? Ah, okay, there are two. So that maybe not. I'm not. I maybe I'm worried about nothing. All right, let's do it. Let's bomb this guy first. Um, that was less than ideal. Okay, he retreated. Well, I think we'll follow up the attack. This is a five-five. This is a six. Oh, this guy's hungry. But I think if we want to keep pushing, oh, we can. We can hit this HQ again. In fact, we can go all the way here. I want to do it. All right, so I'm going to send this guy up here. Hopefully he can kill this. Ah, he cannot. Hmm. That's a bummer. I don't think Patton's going to have anything else to do besides give this guy emergency supply. So we'll do that emergency supply. Push this unit as far as he can go. Uh, if we look at our supply, they can all trace supply lines along this highway. So if we keep them on that, we're going to be in good shape. I'm sure that we're going to be cut off if we do this. He's actually defending that road. Damn it. I'm going to move this guy out of the way, though. <laughs> so, what's your situation? One and one? You could go better. I, he actually retreated into very favorable terrain. Which is a uh, bummer. Bummer. Big bummer. Although, I just hitting this guy again just sounds like the right thing to do. We will have one movement after that. Let's do it. And the only thing we can do is move back, which we can't do. <laughs> He's out of supply range too. Well, that's that's easily fixed. I'm pretty sure we will fix that. Do we need any pontoons? Maybe. This one might be a situation for a pontoon, although no, not really. Can't do this. I don't think no retreat really makes sense. The only people we can reinforce are the ones that don't make it sense to do it. And apparently nobody's failed. So we don't we have absolutely nothing to do with these points. River crossing. Create pontoon bridge. Repair. Can't. So pontoon bridge it is wherever we feel it's like the least unhelpful. <laughs> this is not going to be helpful really anywhere, but I don't know, maybe I don't know why you wouldn't just go through the road there, though. Again, another one why I don't know why you wouldn't just use the road. Ah. <sighs> Doesn't make any, none of these really make any sense. Okay, I think I'll just put it here because I don't have any, any better reason. I'm thinking if you're up here, maybe you can go down clunk, clunk, clunk. Faster way to start going south, but not, I'm not convincing even myself <laughs> with that argument. All right, let's move you closer, Pat. We do want you to stay on the rail, so the tricky thing is going to be staying on the rail and also, you know, helping everyone else out. Although this is road, I wonder how the road works. You know what, just to keep, just to be very, very safe about it, I think we ought to do it here. And no, he's still out of range. He, if he could just move a little bit, we'd be fine. Let me undo that and see if we can somehow manage to... Wait. That's Bradley. There we go. Now we can move again. I really can't do much better than that. Ah, wow, okay. So it works if we go just all the way. <laughs> I don't want to be there. Definitely don't, because now this guy has to be there, but hey, hey, he's still out of range. Yeah, it didn't help. All right, Patton. What happens if we move here? So, this guy's now in command. I don't know how important that is. 
But the thing is, if we we're gonna lose supply points if Patton himself is not in command, is not in supply. So we've got to really think about that. And speaking of, we also do want to figure out where to put our new supply. So three on the right and two on the left. I'm thinking that is what we'll end up doing. Because yeah, all these guys are completely in supply. Can't believe it's been 25 minutes already. I've been yammering on. Patton. So this guy can move. I think that these guys. This guy's gonna move this way. Yeah. So you're gonna move this way. Or you, you could just do this. Then we'll do this. And this guy, I'm gonna make sure he stays on the railroad because he's very wounded. I was actually expecting to make it a lot further than we made it. Did overrun this guy twice though. I don't know why he's not dead. <laughs> I feel like if armor attacks your HQ, you should just be dead. Um, can really make some strong progress here. Hmm. We want to just. Push this neutral territory. Is this Patton? No, this is Patton. Let's get somebody over to Lorient to ASAP. Do this. I, I want to push this territory. Hopefully that pushes the neutral territory. Um, I think we'll get this going on as well. Yeah, they've all moved now, except for you. You can move here. So we keep more people on the rails. Okay, that's, I think we're in good shape. Cross my fingers that something horrible doesn't happen. I mean, I don't think they have any armor which can come and just cut us off, but yeah, that's, in theory, that could happen. So let's take a look at our out of supplyness. Really not too bad. I think that the supply dump here will be able to cover it. Let's find out. Uh, we need to put three down here in order to make it work. What if we instead put it... Oh, we can put it on these roads. Uh, yeah, I actually would like that. And now a two covers everything. Perfect. Now, the only problem is this is just a completely exposed supply dump. <laughs> hey, you know what? How about we just move back here? Cover her up. This guy will definitely be in supply now. And you know what? That's going to be a place where that's get. We did such a smart thing by accident. This guy can now move on top of the supply dump because that's for sure going to be in in supply. <laughs> so that's Patton's going to be well supplied. Now we we somehow managed to do everything we wanted. Were people already screaming at the screen that I should do that? I don't know, but you should have been. And thankfully, I noticed it because that was that was the only way we were going to get everything done that I wanted to get done. And also, it moved this guy who I feel is very very vulnerable. Moved him out of harm's way. And next turn, we'll be able to. These guys are out of supply. Yeah, out of supply and out of command range so that they're they're just suffering from all kinds of penalties so we still want to get this is turn seven so we only have two more turns to capture all three of these let's take a look again at the scorecard okay get, get this so check 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 um then brest lorient and saint nazare which is on the west side all three of those are on the west and Paris Suburbs is looking good. That's We have two turns to take that here. You can just bombard the heck out of them. But wasted, I think we wasted one of those, um, unfortunately, I think we wasted one of those air attacks on this tank unit, which probably means that we're going to end up taking Paris quicker, but 
Yeah, and then what else are we gonna do? We're gonna move these guys north because there's nothing else that's better for them to do. So we do have to navigate this tricky situation. You're out of supply, but if we stay, we stay on the road up here, we actually can kind of, so what I think we're gonna be able to do is move this guy forward. Oh yeah, that's good. This is, he's Canadian, so we can move him. You know, there's only so much space you can fight around the Paris suburbs, so we're gonna move him north. I think I'm, I might even just move him here. We can move him further forward later if we want, but to have him on this area means that he's gonna be in supply no matter what. I'm trying to think what would be the best option. How, what's the fastest way over to this? Right, let's move him here for now. Just wanna see where are you getting your supply from? And main question is, can I drop this? Oh, well, we can if we want, but <laughs> that's the only supply on the entire east side. So the better question to ask first, now that I've already put another supply point up, is can I drop this? Is anybody going out of supply? Somehow, no. Where are you? How are you getting supplied? Oh, this one. Yeah, this one's actually supplying them. So they'll be out of supply next turn because we're going to want to cancel this. <laughs> we'll just have them move. I don't know. They might even just have to hoof it out of supply until they get back to this. We'll give them the motor command. Yada, yada. Bradley, by the way, once you're done, I, I think you should move forward to Renz or maybe even south of that. Let's move them here. Oh, okay, let's undo that. Just a smidge too far. Move him one further. There it is. Okay. <laughs> it's exactly as far as we can go. Just trying to make sure that we make we keep everyone else in supply over here. So this guy can probably just um, take the motor pool, try to get to Nantes. You will stick to the highway because otherwise you'll be cut off. All right. So then we have a few other people here. This is uh, Canadian again, so I think we'll move this guy just straight east, though. Yeah, so the only people employing this supply group... Well, I mean, probably a lot of people still. This guy to move up here. Now, supply. Who is out of supply? One person here. Yeah, and the people down there. So let's, what if we put the supply here? One. So at two, it's not gonna solve all the world's problems, but it's okay for now. And actually two, I wanna take a look at this one again. So should we bump it up, should we bump it up even more? I honestly think it might be okay. We, we don't need to do, we don't need to, I mean, next turn we'll be able to increase it, but it might even be okay like this. So we'll leave this at two and I think I'll, instead I'll bump this to three. Yeah, now we can cover all that area, perfect. I'm just gonna leave it there. And now you go ahead and take your risk. <laughs> And you can move forward, oh yeah. And cannot cross that yet, which we actually cannot even get to. Okay, well let's do it. Everyone is in supply. Pretty sure everyone's in command range. And we'll have two extra supply trucks with us next turn. Okay, so let's end the turn and see what how the enemy responds. Actually, I'm gonna do a quick cut in the video, just a quick pause to scan around, make sure I didn't miss anything. Well, moving um, left to right, I, cut, I looked through everybody, didn't find a single person who I wanted to move. Could move here. Started looking down here. Oh, two to one, well that seems interesting. And then I saw Owen two. That bombing, that bombing mission that I said was not worth doing, 
is actually going to get us two free kills on this guy. Now, there's no place for that. Um, I don't know. Did this guy lose anything? No, he didn't even lose anything, which is... I mean, sometimes he wouldn't lose it, but he, it might have been disrupted. Not even disrupted. So, now I kind of wish that we <laughs> had the movement points to be able to move forward, but it's basically going to make this guy inoperable next turn, uh, at least on the attacking turn. So, I'm really glad we double-checked that. We got a really good kill out of that. And these um, prisoners, they really don't have anywhere to go. There's no way they're going to get all the way up here. And we'll probably end up... I was thinking about moving across again, because then I was like, well, if he moves out, we can just kill him next turn, and this guy can be out of supply for one turn. I'm really, really tempted to do that still, but I think we'll be fine. We'll be able to attack this guy next turn and still eliminate him. So, we're going to go ahead and end the turn. Don't think the Germans really... Oh! Yeah, so he went for it. Yeah, and this is what I was thinking, is that if we wait too long, they can get some supply. Uh, um, new troops, reinforcements is what I was meant to say there. But that really wasn't that bad. Ten units uh, had supplies disrupted, probably because we were a little bit more aggressive about not... Interesting. This guy really went for it. Well, Paris Suburbs is now ours. I'm, I'm like kind of flabbergasted that he just gave it up so easily. Oh, wow. So we're going to be able to do some serious damage to this guy. In a lot of different ways. It's fine that he cut... It, it, these guys were out of supply. I think they were literally... No, actually, they just lost supply on their own, mind, on their own means. We can probably play through this turn. So these guys are now um, one turn out of supply. There's a lot of people here. We can still get a... Oh, wow. Yeah, they're bringing in... <laughs> they're bringing in the big guns. Not really. This guy's extremely weak, but... We can pin them in this corner. A lot of these guys did end up not having supply. Um, I don't want to focus any of, my, any of my forces on this, though. Because... Again, this is just like a, a pleasure stroll through the north. None of that really matters. What we want to do is... I think we even want to bombard this guy. I know that we can do two, just two damage right off the bat. But he might retreat or something. So I'm just going to do this. Take the pip. This guy can now move and... Hell, he can do this. Sounds good to me. Our... HQ is totally exposed, but that's fine. We'll move here. We'll get this guy to move here. He's cut off. We'll do the attack. And then we can actually do another attack. We'll have this guy do it. Overran as well. And, well, who's the triumphant? The British second... Uh, it says... Oh, that's the second HQ. So, the 7th British Armored or the 11th? Let's... Or the Canadians, the Polish. Should the Polish... No, no, no. It's got... I think that it's only fair if we have a... We don't have any French units, do we? Yeah, so the 7th... Well, let's just have these guys do it. So we took Paris. Plus another 50 prestige. We got prestige to burn at this point. And that's one thing I should have been checking is if we can actually deploy... Uh, we can deploy infantry. I don't think that they can move if this happens, but that's fine. <laughs> can you move? Ah, oh, he can move afterwards. That's okay. By all means. Sounds wonderful. Take these prisoners. And have plenty of movement. Cannot cross here. Is this a bridge we can repair? Let's find out. It is. Might as well. I think those bridges actually end up... No, I think maybe this is because I destroyed a bridge at some point. All right, I, I can. Um, we're looking at uh, 40 minutes in this video right now. So what we'll probably end up doing is this guy is not a very good candidate for. <laughs> he has no artillery. He's just the, absolutely the wrong unit for this. I'll have to move across, take Nantes, and then move all the way back. <laughs> So he should be still in supply, he is. And I'm pretty sure since Bradley's forces are all going to be moving this way. Get this guy on the motor pool. 
Oh, perfect. We can do exactly what I wanted. Perfect. This guy doesn't need the motor pool. He'll be back on the HQ. I mean, on the highway. Probably going to move this guy here. Maybe... So, I should ask, because we have, do we, we have this nice... We have two... Okay, yeah, we'll probably do this. Oh, we only have one person. Interesting. He is not going to be necessary... Oh, man, he just needs one more movement point, and he's there. Kind of disappointing. <laughs> All right, let's just do it. We'll give him the, the emergency supply. And Bradley can still move one extra person. There's no bridges to repair. Apparently there is. Oh, this one. Okay, we'll do it. I don't think I want to move there or should, but... Yeah, this guy's going to move back. So we're not going to bother with that area. These guys start moving. You yourself, Bradley, are going to be moving. Now that you only have one point left, let's move you. Let's just move you right here. And where's the other guy who's part of you? This guy. Okay. This guy is going to... I guess he could follow the highway here, or we can just go off-road with one turn. Capture that territory, which is nice. Move this guy up. I think that we'll just... Okay, so we only... I mean, we only have two more turns now. Starting to get there. Down to the desperation point. Aha. Uh -huh. But this guy can capture supply. Ooh. We're going to have to bomb these guys. Okay, how's it look now? One-on-one. -on -one. I don't think there's any better option. Like, this was... this. Yeah, this was a, a just a, a victory. And we overran, so we can neither... Wow, we can attack all kinds of people. We can eliminate entirely pretty much anybody, but I think I'm going to take this guy, which won't be a total elimination, but... Wow, that was just deadly. Uh, main thing is to move this guy, pin him, basically. We can even do a feint attack. I don't think we even need to do that. We're just there to pin. Uh, let's get somebody... <laughs> Secure, make sure we leave the supply line secure. You're saying that you're out. Oh, these are the Brits. No, this is Canadian. Cana oh, that is British. So we need to move both the British and the... That's fine. Actually, you're done. You've taken Orleans. Move you north. Probably onto the supplies. Um, good. Probably gonna move you there. We want to move this guy forward as far forward as possible. This guy as well as far as far forward as possible. So yeah, we'll we'll definitely be moving the British. Uh, who wants it? This guy, I think. And we only have three. Just do it. And you to move here. You to move. Okay, let's have you move all the way over here. You can move here. We're just going to stay on the highway to, as much as possible, minimize the supply disruption. I'm so I'm so interested in not having supply disruption. I'm contemplating doing, you know, keeping this guy here even. I think it's fine. <laughs> Just not have any more supply dis disruption, or as, as the the least amount as possible. And same thing. Move him here. The HQ for the Canadians is also going to move up. Ah, left this guy out. Well, we can undo that and just maybe move him. 
Is that? Okay, that is. I just want to make sure that that is... Oh, wait, wait we don't want to move him yet. Oh, my gosh. Uh, just out of supply, that guy. This guy's... Both of his pips are grayed out. And what else? We can do another emergency supply. I guess that's pretty much what we want to do. Unless we want to do... Can you do anything? You can only do... Yeah, nothing interesting. Cannot do bridge repair. Okay, so let's just do emergency supply on somebody. And the main goal is going to be get this guy... Oh, he can't do it. Huh. I wonder why they can't move further forward than that. Okay, I'm going to have this guy move. Oh, wow. I, I picked the wrong guy then, turns out. Oh, let's undo. Have this guy take the emergency supply. Have him move forward. Looks like we're going to have to cross next turn. So you're also going to have to move forward. Fair amount. Oh, very nice. What? Let me actually undo that because that's a perfect spot for the Canadians to go. We might actually be okay to. Switch it right here. Good. And the Canadians move right here. Ah, just missed it. I forgot. It's the whole reason why I didn't do that before. All right, everybody's in. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we don't really need the supply depot down here anymore, but that's where it'll stay because, ooh, maybe not. We do have two. Okay, move this to a three. We have one truck remaining. I think that this is going to be... It's actually not quite enough to catch everything, but we can always take away from this we need. And I think the other thing we're going to do is just increase this. Okay, all of our supply trucks are used, which means, honestly, we really got to get rid of this. We needed all this turn, but okay, we have one more. I think that's going to go to this guy. Good. Because I would like to eliminate him. That has done it. Wow, these guys are stubborn. I'm going to assume that somebody else is going to kill him. I'm going to move right past. There we go. All right, good. We can keep our movement on the highway going. Same here. Same here. Uh, we're going to leave one of these guys, is this a patent guy? Yeah, we're going to leave one of these guys on the HQ, which seems to make sense to me. This guy cannot get to where I want him to. Oh, but yes, yes indeed. If we get this guy to push as far forward as possible, it's possible. Uh, I want to undo that. Let's try this again. Ah, yeah, okay. I think I'll, I'm just going to hope that this supplies him. Let's do it with this guy. Did not help the other guy, but oh, we can get all the way over here. Wait. I, 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 oh boy, that's not good. He's once, he's a little bit too far, <laughs> which is par for the course with my, you know, the typical Tortuga maneuver. This guy on the uh, beaten path. Might have made a few mistakes here. Okay. I was... Damn it, I could have moved back here. So we could move Patton back forward... I don't think we can do that. 
Hmm. Just keep people on the highway for the love of God. It's causing problems. <laughs> but if we want to get Lorient, if we want to get Lorient next turn, I don't see how we're going to be able to do that without pushing right now really hard towards them. So I think we'll move this guy here, and this is the guy who's going to move onto the depot. Mm, what are you? You're Patton, so I mean, you're probably not going to be in the fight. This is Bradley. Yeah, so this is good. This is a 50-minute episode. probably have to call it here but this is more fun to me I mean it's it's easy to go 50 minutes in the game now that I'm really enjoying it I understand what I want to do you make little mistakes like here it would be really nice if the headquarters um, if you knew the distance the headquarters would be like if they had a, like a, a separate like uh, maybe a, this is like a, a dotted line and it'd be nice if there was a lighter thinner but longer dashed line further ahead which shows you exactly how far you can go without being out of com hq command it's it's just uh, there's no way that they should expect the player to calculate the hexes you can go so a little inconvenient i think they, you know probably could have done this a little bit better now maybe i can just move forward i mean we have eight so pfft. yeah i guess we'll do this and this um, can anybody bombard? Oh, good. So they lost their no retreat status. <laughs> Whatever that means. They are actually in, they can't be in headquarters range. Trenched. We might be able to actually get these guys next turn. Okay, but anyways, Patton can move now if we so want him to. Where's the furthest behind person? You? I think if we even move here, we'll be okay. The, problem, the only problem is Patton might be out of... I mean, that worked. Nobody's out of supply range, but... Patton himself might be out of supply next turn. <laughs> it's not going to be ideal. But I think we're going to have to chance that. Anyway, I, I probably need to pause the video again to scroll around and look, but we're probably just about done. And it looks like, I mean, look, at we're going to manage to make our 350 or maybe even 400 by the end of the game uh, bonus score. So I'm not worried about getting the, the high score or whatever, but I just want to take all three. <laughs> we'll see if that happens. I'm going to call this video to a close here. We'll, I'll pick this up in the next video, and uh, that'll surely be the last one. Uh, at least for this mini-series. So, for now, thanks for watching, and until the next one, take care.